girl Shonda and I am back y'all today is is it Wednesday no today is hold on let me make sure yeah y'all today is Wednesday August the 2nd of 2023 oh my gosh oh time is flying I can hardly keep up with it, y'all. But anyway, how are y'all on this beautiful, marvelous, fabulous Tuesday, August the 2nd? How are y'all? How are y'all doing today? So today, y'all, <clears throat> I woke up and my eye was super de duper crusty. So I cleaned it real good. And I noticed that it's starting to hurt again. It's getting smaller, but that thing really hurts. I've never had a sty like this, so all right, we just roll with it. But yeah, I woke up with to that, and then um, <clears throat> I got that all together. Now, y'all, I'm getting ready to make my famous tea. I'm gonna show y'all <clears throat> how I make my famous tea everybody got their own way of making their tea but i'm gonna show you how i make my tea okay y'all y'all are in for a real treat because my tea recipe is on point okay oh <laughs> as cardi b say oh okay so hold on y'all let me get stuff situated okay y'all i'm back <clears throat> so i want to let y'all know first of all what kind of tea i use i use regular old walmart grip value decaffeinated green tea so i use four packets of this tea and then i use the country peach passion tea by the celestial uh seasonings that's the brand puppies hear me talking so they're gonna yip yap and i use two packets of these this is how it comes i use two of these so four of the green tea two of the peach all right y'all got it take notes all right so that's what i use and then i put i fill this up with water and I, when it boils, I turn it off, and then I put my tea bags in here. I let it steep overnight, y'all. That's so important to let it steep overnight. They're gonna just yap the whole time I'm making a video. Every time I'm in the kitchen, they yap. <laughs> so please excuse the yappers, okay? We'll go see them in a minute, anyway. Then I go ahead and pour my tea in my glass jug yes look at all that golden goodness yes so this is with a whole full teapot of water a regular old teapot regular size teapot this is how much you get in a picture so my blend I like to use agave Sometimes I use honey, but it takes a lot of honey. So I like to use this because it don't take that much. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze me some in there. That should be enough. Then I like to use lemon juice. I like this juice for me. It's good. A little bit, not a lot. And then ginger. So I get this from the health food store. And then I put it in a, a, a mason jar. So I use ginger because I have nausea issues. So if I'm drinking tea all the time, this will help. And it has been helping. And then I stir it on up, y'all. Give it a good stir. And I'll be back. Because that's pretty loud. Y'all don't want to hear that. Okay. Okay, y'all. I have stirred this to perfection. Look at that jug of golden goodness tea 
So my tea is made. Put my top on. And uh yes, I'm going to pour me some in my bubba. Y'all, these bubbles are the bomb. I'm just pouring a little bit because I like my tea cold for real. Get you a bubba. It's not sponsored, but get you a bubba. Put my tea in the fridge so it can get cold. And that's that. That, my friends, is how you make my famous tea blend. Mmm. It's so good. Mm. And it's even better when it's cold, y'all. Trust me. It really, really is. I wanted to show y'all what I've been working on. So, I have this coloring book. It's a coloring book for adults dealing with anxiety. So, this is what I've done. And this is done with my colored pencils, y'all. I got some colored pencils and markers, but I've been using my colored pencils for this. This orange is so pretty. But look at my horse. She is going to be so beautiful when I'm done. And it really does work for anxiety. Here's my other picture I finished. I colored some flowers. And I really enjoyed coloring this. It was so fun. It's like I look forward to coming back to it each and every day, y'all. I love it so much. These are my flowers. Y'all, so I just got me a new bracelet. The pink ribbon good bracelet. I need to wash my, I need to clean my hands. My driver was so awesome today, y'all. So I'm here at my radiation appointment. So we are on radiation day number eight. Hi. Day number eight. Okay, y'all, I cleaned my hands real good because I don't know, they was feeling yucky. But we are on radiation day number eight. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> but y'all my um, driver today was amazing you hear me she was a god sent god sent um i was able to share a couple of my testimonies with her and she shared a couple of her testimonies with me and all i gotta say is god is good y'all god is good he's amazing I was in the interior and crying because my eye might look a little yucky. <laughs> but it's all good. It was a good cry. It wasn't a sad cry. We shared our stories and um, we were able to uh, bond as she is also a breast cancer. She's a survivor though. A two-year survivor. And uh, it's just so amazing meeting other women who have had breast cancer or who are battling breast cancer. It's just so sweet and, you know, our bond is just amazing. It doesn't matter what walk of life they're in or who, what they look like. We all bond immediately and I really, 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 truly love that. Like, that is so bomb. And like I said, she just gave me a pink ribbon good bracelet, y'all. Ain't that so pretty? It's like a teal and pink color. And then I got my other bracelets that I'm going to wear every day with my brave on there that my little buddy made me. So, yep, I'm going to sit here and wait uh, for my name to be called and go back for my treatments. I hope you're having an amazing day because I am. I'm having an amazing day, y'all. It's just been so beautiful. Headed back to treatment, y'all. That was pretty quick, less than five minutes. I never have to wait. Well, one time I had to wait more than five minutes, but I normally don't have to wait long for the treatment. So, I'm going 
I'm at the treatment. I'm taking that walk. We're taking that walk. So, oh, my belly got a lot of liquid in it. <laughs> Ready? Okay. So, I know that. <coughs> that I had a lot to drink. All this stuff. They got somebody in both of them radiation rooms. One and the one that I use. I ain't never seen that. Look. See that door closed over there? Number one. Number one is closed. And then that's my room right there. Somebody's in there. But yeah, um, I got a lot of fluid in my belly. <laughs> it's making a noise. Y'all know when you drink so much liquid. And what is this on my cheek? <sighs> Hold on, let me fix this. Okay, I had to fix that. I don't know what that was on my cheek. It still left like a little mark. I got like bumps all on my skin. My skin. It's changing, I'm noticing, since I've had uh, radiation treatments. And they told me that would happen, so, oh well, whatever. Um, I need to order me some more of these, because I like them. They're comfortable, and they come in handy for days like this, where I can't have, like, metal and, like, my wigs. I can't wear that kind of stuff going through radiation, so throw these on, and I'm good to go. Although... I was thinking about trying to wear because it's you can wear it all different kind of ways i ain't never wore it no way but this way but you can wear it in the back i wonder what it looks like in the back let me see <laughs> oh that's cute on the side uh-oh of course I'll fix it that's cute okay let's see how i look in the back That's the back. I don't like it. I like this better. You mentioned your parents getting The side and the front is cute. Yes. Okay. The room is open now. So I know I'm getting ready to go back. the patient is getting ready to come out so I know I'm getting ready to go back for treatment y'all wish me well thank you <laughs> hey y'all uh, hmm. did not give him massages out today successful run with radiation Welp out the door we go no massage today baby it was good it was quick and now it's time to go did it i completed day eight yes jesus yes y'all i got caught trying to dance <laughs> i'm done early again so i gotta sit here and wait on my hubby it's all good because it feel good it's a breeze look at the plants blowing 
It's a breeze that just came. I feel good. I have my treatment. And everything is doing good. So, let me call hubby because we have other plans and I'm done. So, I don't want to have to wait out here for another half an hour. So, let me call my husband. Y'all, I had to come on here real quick to tell y'all. I've been wearing my plumped lip gloss. The clear plumped. Because I got two different plumped. This is the, uh, what I call it, the super plumped. So, this one really, really, really plumps your lips. And it's got my lips feeling so tingly and full. Like, as if I needed it. But I like it. I like the way it makes my lips feel. And they are definitely plump. Burr. Plump. Burr. <laughs> yeah. Get into it. This is available on the site as well. My plumped and super plumped. I think I call it super plump. I don't know, but y'all get it. Hey y'all. So I'm about to make some uh, tacos. We having taco, well nachos. We're using taco seasoning and making the chicken mixture as taco meat. Here go my chicken. Washed, clean, and cut up real good. Cause I don't like them big chunks of chicken in my um, nachos. We have a nachos. But I'm also drinking my water. This is my cup I got from Vegas. <laughs> it says bitch one Las Vegas. They had a cup that said bitch one and then bitch two. I guess from the Dr. Seuss um, thing uh, from thing one and thing two. So I got my water. And one thing I learned about radiation, going through radiation treatments, is that we will need to have plenty and plenty of water. And that's no problem with me. So I got all my seasonings here. And I'm about to chop up my onions. And then I'm going to get started making these, um, making the mixture for our nachos. And I have to chop up some tomatoes. And I also have to just shred it. We don't have shredded lettuce. So I gotta rinse that off real good. Got the sour cream. And I'ma cut up. I'ma uh shred some cheese with my little in the sour cream. And what else? Oh, I need some minced garlic for my meat mixture. And I need some butter. Use real butter. I was using the plant butter, but I haven't bought none of that. But um, uh, let me see. I wanted to show you my shredder. It's got the little compartment for the cheese to fall down in there with the four different sizes. I love this shredder, y'all. I got this from Walmart. It's a cute little shredder. And this has a top so I can close it up too when I'm done. That's the inside of it. So I'm going to use this. No, I'm going to use this side for the cheese yeah I had to come and show y'all my plate of my chicken nachos that I made don't that look scrumptious oh my god I am about to throw it down y'all sour cream onions tomatoes lettuce cheese salsa chicken yum I had to go in and be a little extra add a dollop of the um, chunky salsa on it I already had the mild sauce but I had to add a dollop of the chunky salsa yay hey y'all 
I'm back. I came in to end this video for the day because I didn't ate my nachos. As y'all seen, I told them nachos down. You hear me? So I'm about to sit back, relax, watch my movie, and just vibe on out. Because y'all know how we do when it's time to go. Y'all know how we do when it's time to go. Y'all know how we do when it's time to go. Hey, y'all know how we do when it's time to go. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay blessed. Deuces. I love y'all so, 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 so much. Until next time. I love y'all. Ha, ha, ha.